Well, folks, apparently we're all supposed to be really, really disturbed by Caitlin Clark's new WNBA salary. That's because the base salary for the number one pick in the WNBA draft, the highly awaited, much watched WNBA draft. Apparently it actually did get some decent ratings, but only because of Caitlin Clark. So Caitlin Clark will be paid next year a whopping total of $76,000 in the WNBA. And everybody is very, very angry about this. No, they say no. She's worth millions. So first of all, I'm going to use the left wing argument that they're constantly using with regard to entertainers who make a lot of money, which is, but a public school teacher is only making like 45 grand. So why is Caitlin Clark more important than, again, all those arguments go out the window when it's somebody that they supposedly like. In any case, Caitlin Clark making 76 grand and Hoda is very disturbed, super, not disturbed enough to, you know, cut into her multimillion dollar salary for Caitlin Clark, but disturbed. When I saw the number 76,000 in the first year and 78,000 in the second year and 85,000 in the third year, I mean, for somebody who is now the face of women's basketball, it seemed kind of ridiculous. A guy who is in the WN or in the NBA first year, they can get 10 million. And I get it. Wow. There are ticket sales and the math and all that stuff. But there's just something about this that is so disturbing. I picture all the little girls with signs mm. that say Caitlin. And then they're like, but this is what her so contract what will is change worth. That? None of those little girls go to WNBA games, which is why her contract is worth $76,000. When, when women are complaining about the salaries in the WNBA, as comedian Bill Burr has pointed out, women are half the population. They can go to WNBA games, but they don't. So why are you yelling at all the men about the salaries in the WNBA? The WNBA has a gross annual revenue of like $180 million. That's for all of the teams. And there are dozens of teams. The gross NBA revenue is $11 billion. $11 billion. You want to know why the salaries are different? Because the revenue is different. Because people watch the NBA and no one watches the WNBA at all. The numbers are abysmal. Now, maybe that changes because Caitlin Clark is in the WNBA, although I have doubts because we've seen this story before. Every time the women's national soccer team wins a championship, wins a World Cup, everybody's like, this is the moment when women's soccer in the United States is just going to take off on a professional level. And two years later, the league is bankrupt because no one went to see a women's soccer game because why would you? A bunch of high school boys could beat them. The same thing is true about the WNBA. One of the things that happens with regard to college basketball, it's, it's, it's an actual real marketing difference. When it comes to college basketball for the for women's sports, people have regional loyalty to the school. So you'll see a lot of men who go to like an Iowa basketball game for women because they have loyalty to the school. But once they're separated off from the school, are you like desperate to go see an Indiana Fever game? Do you got the fever for the Indiana Fever? I do not think so. Beyond this, Caitlin Clark is going to be just fine. Caitlin Clark has an incentive agreement, marketing agreements with the WNBA. They get to make money off of her image. But those marketing agreements are at least half a million dollars. And her actual other endorsements will certainly be in the multi-millions of dollars. According to Fortune magazine, she's already signed endorsement deals worth over $3 million. And right now, she's apparently nearing an eight-figure endorsement deal with Nike, which includes a signature shoe. So again, is she going to be hurting? No, because she is a one of one. And she's a unique person who has captured public attention because of her style of play and because she's hitting shots from near the half court line and all the rest of this sort of stuff. However, the reason for the difference in the value of her WNBA contract versus the NBA is because she's not in the NBA and people don't watch the WNBA. Joe Biden, though, felt the necessity to get involved because, of course, he did. He tweeted out, women in sports continue to push new boundaries and inspire us all. Okay, so, sure. Okay. Um, if you feel inspired by women's sports, that's fine. I have daughters. That's nice. If you want to say that women in sports are pushing new boundaries, do you mean the performance boundaries crossed by 10th grade boys? Because those are the actual performance boundaries that women are crossing every single day in impressive fashion. In any case, Joe Biden says right now we're seeing that even if you're the best, women are not paid their fair share. Okay, fair share is a bunch of bull****. There is no such thing as a fair share. Fair share is rooted in a perception that Joe Biden knows every single value of every single thing. 20 bucks barely gets you anything these days. You can't even fill your gas tank for less than 20 bucks. But do you know what 20 bucks will get you? From the cell phone company I use, Pure Talk, you can get unlimited talk, text, and plenty of 5G data for just 20 bucks a month. Pure Talk gives you the same quality of service 
as your current cell phone provider, but for half the cost. The average family saves almost $1,000 a year, all with no contracts and no activation fees. You can switch to Pure Talk and keep the phone and phone number you currently use, or you can take advantage of their great deals on the latest iPhones and Androids. Making the switch is incredibly easy. Their U.S. customer service team can help you join Pure Talk in as little as 10 minutes. Choose to spend your hard-earned money with a wireless company that actually shares your values, supports our military and veterans, and creates American jobs. Stop spending a ridiculous amount of cash on your phone plan. Go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Right now, my listeners can get an additional 50% off their very first month of coverage. That's puretalk.com slash Shapiro. I've been using Pure Talk myself for legitimately years at this point, their coverage is excellent, and I'm saving a lot of money. Head on over to puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Again, that's puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Get an additional 50% off your first month of coverage. A little bit earlier this week on the show, we talked about von Mises, right? The, the Austrian economist who was the leader of the so-called marginal revolution. And we talked about the difference between the labor theory of value and the subjective theory of value. The labor theory of value is that there is an actual objective value to anything in the market, to labor, to to this cup. There's an objective, this is objectively worth a certain amount of money. And anything above that is greedy profiteering by the company selling it. And the way that you can tell the worth of an object is by the amount of labor that went into it. Now, the problem is that there's no way to actually value that labor outside of the market. The subjective theory of value points out that what things are actually worth are what people are willing to pay for them. There is no such thing, therefore, as a quote unquote fair salary. There's only what people are willing to pay for the salary, fair assumes that you are God and you know all the workings of everybody's interior monologue and what people want from the world. Everyone's subjective wants, needs, and desires all aggregated into one giant price. And then you, this godlike figure, Joe Biden, who's got so many neurons firing. By the way, he has single digit neurons firing at this point. He is capable of determining a quote unquote fair share. There is no such thing as a fair share. There is what you can negotiate for based on your market value. That's all. That's the only fair share. He says, it's time that we give our daughters the same opportunities as our sons and ensure women are paid what they deserve. Okay, well, if we were actually going to pay women what they deserve in the WNBA, the WNBA would not exist because it is not a profitable league. If it were not being subsidized by the NBA every single year, it has never turned a profit. If it were not being subsidized by the NBA every single year, it would not exist. So what women are actually deserving of in terms of salary, if you were to run it without a subsidy from the NBA, is zero dollars. Now, you can say that they deserve the $76,000, and sure they do, because that's what somebody is willing to pay them. That's based on a set of of skewed political incentives and the NBA trying to build a women's market. Okay, that's fine. That's the NBA's decision. But this absolute idiocy that because Caitlin Clark is making like 76 grand in base salary, she's going to end up making, by the way, probably closer to five to $10 million this year. But because of that base salary, somehow women are being treated unfairly. Your definition of fair is not how the world works. Your definition of fair is not how the world works. By the way, if you want the answer to why teachers are paid less than Caitlin Clark, the answer is because there is one Caitlin Clark and there are lots of teachers. That doesn't mean that you wouldn't, if there were only one teacher on earth, you'd pay that teacher an awful lot of money. But again, based on supply and demand and the subjective theory of value, that explains why Caitlin Clark ought to be paid more money than your average school teacher. There's no internal economic logic to anything that folks on the left say. It's just based on pure impulse. It's really, why are they comparing Caitlin Clark, for example, to NBA players as opposed to, say, a school teacher? Sure, she plays basketball, and so do NBA players, but she ain't playing the same level as NBA players, and she ain't playing in the same league as the NBA players, and she ain't got the same crowd as the NBA players. So what is your comp? What is your comp? So the fair comp would be, how can she be marketed to the public so as to sell shoes? And there, she is being paid an awful lot of money. The subjective theory of value explains all of this. Democrats don't believe in the subjective theory of value because they don't understand basic economics and therefore they come up with dumbass ideas like fair share. And so Caitlin Clark should be paired more, should be paid more because Joe Biden, who has never run a popsicle stand successfully, suddenly believes she should be. He knows what's fair. If you you believe Joe Biden knows what's fair, somebody's gonna have to explain why Hunter Biden was clearing millions of dollars while snorting half of the world's meth. That doesn't seem fair to me. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 